So let's start at the beginning. Knight of Cups. Um, cups are emotions. Uh, can stand for water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio can stand for you as well. Scorpio, if um, you are younger than 40 or 30. Um, this is feeling like putting yourself first, looking at all the things that you have wanted to do and charging forward. Um, no matter who has put uh, boundaries in your way, no matter who has put blocks in your way, it looks like your focus is really, really on yourself and on creating your wildest dreams come true. This seems to be um, a theme for many of the other signs. Uh, with that, uh, the tumultuousness of the um, solar and lunar eclipses that's kind of, you know, ruffled our feathers, ruffled the dust a little bit, made us look at what our wildest dreams are, and that's what it looks like you're, you're looking at. It. Um, it looks like you're really focusing on how to make this come true, whether it's a new job, going back to school, um, your passion, in some way, whether it's an artistic endeavor, it looks like you are really focusing on making that come true and jumping over the hurdles and doing what you need to do to make that happen. So it does look like or feels like a long awaited wish is either right on the horizon, right ready for the plucking, or you have already created it or started to create it. What crosses you, it looks like a little self doubt, little self doubt. Am I enough? Can I do this? People my, must be right that that I'm this well you know who you are you are very powerful you are very creative um, and dabble in magic so use some of that magic for yourself it also looks like looking into the distance taking some time to think about what you want your future to look like who you want that to be in in your awareness but it looks like you have been kind of doing some spiritual cleaning, whether it's with uh, friends that are destructive or finding a new environment to play in or creating a new job of some kind. But it really looks like you are looking at your future, how you want it to look like, really letting go of some frustrations and some anger that you brought with you. It looks like things from the past. So you're really working doing a really good job actually steadily working and releasing uh, the friendships, the jobs, the emotions, the, um, the uh, personal attitudes that don't work for you. And you're really starting to embrace your brilliance, your power. Um, some things you will have to let go and they will be sad. Uh, other things, you know, the new things are always wonderful to embrace. Um, but you looks like you've really put down your fear. And you're having the courage to grow and to make some changes. Even if those around you are not ready for those changes, it looks like you've waited for a while to make some of these changes and finally said, eh, that's okay. I'm not waiting for you. I'm going to do it. Um, either you come with me or you don't. Um, but it looks like it was not done out of anger, but more out of your own joy and um, putting some energy into you and really investing in you. Um, it for many of you, it may be just the beginning, um, and for others, you're solidly on it. You're solidly on it, but um, the change has happened, and it's like an emotional shift inside of you um, that you have made yourself important in your own world, and that is a beautiful thing. So what is above you is the king of pentacles and the king, you know, that's a wise one. It's exalted. It also can stand for someone over 40 that's in an earth body. That's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, this looks like someone that is um, very beneficial to you. This is someone that uh, you bounce off ideas from. This can be a boss. It feels like an exalted figure. So it could be one of authority, could be a parent, could be a counselor, uh, a boss, someone that you have great faith in and trust their words. Uh, so it looks like um, over the last couple of months that they've been more available to you. And for some of you, it can be a love from the past that's coming back. I'm feeling some past energy being reignited. Um, if it is on the love sign, it could be 
someone that it didn't work out with in the past, male or female, doesn't matter if you're male or female, but uh, a relationship that you really treasured that um, wasn't so prevalent in your life for the last couple of years or so. Um, but it does feel like it's someone of great strength, um, wonderful nurturing, and um, that they are coming back into your life. It could be, a, as I said, it could be associated with your job. It could be a counselor. It doesn't have to be a love person, um, but it is someone re connecting with you from the past that you trusted and that has good advice and is very supportive and loving. Uh, in the past position, it's the two. So it looks like you are looking at the world differently. You're finding your balance. You've had to leave some old behavior, some old people, could be jobs, but you've had to leave some things um, behind. So it's kind of a mixed blessing for you, but in order for you to grow, you really had to release some of these old ideas. It could be old ideas, legacy ideas that you were handed to by your parents that are really not helpful for you or beneficial for your growth and your further happiness. So it looks like you made a huge spiritual shift in yourself. And that doesn't necessarily mean God for those of you who are atheists. It just means there was some huge shift in making you a priority, no longer waiting for your dreams come true, but to really start creating them for yourself, putting a little more effort into it and releasing the things that don't work for you. This legacy key is lighting up for me. So for many of you, it may be um, leaving behind addictions um, or negative behaviors that was gifted to you by uh, your parents, either by the dynamics of the family, their relationship, but you have made a conscious effort to change that for the better, for the better. Page of Swords is right here. Swords can be messages. It is on this line here, so I'm feeling that you got a message from the past here. Um, Page of Swords can also be news of a problem or difficulty. It can mean a young person that's doing risky behavior. Um, it can mean cutting words as well, the sword here. So pay attention to some messages. It may bring one of a bit concern, but it looks like easily to be resolved or to support this person in their changes. It doesn't look like it's directly related to you, um, but it will affect you. And again, the um, page of swords can stand for news of problems or difficulty either from a young person or from someone else. Temperance is here. That's the great balance, finding the balance, uh, finding the balance of your emotions. Um, it also, I'm feeling this crown lighting up in the in here. So you have really refocused your attentions on making some things happen for yourself, um, releasing some things that don't belong to you and creating a new, and it could even be in the healing arts. For many of you, you know, Scorpios, you guys um, have your finger on the pulse of spirits, the other world, um, the sixth sense sign is lighting up. So you may have taken a new step into your own power. That's what it's feeling like. And finding the balance between um, what is yours and what isn't. Um, finding the balance between nurturing and over helpful -itis. Uh, but you're really, really looking at making your life a little calmer, um, choosing things that are a little bit more in line with your growth than with others. And it looks like some resentments from the past have kind of reared its ugly head, but you were um, allowed to really look at them. If you haven't looked at them, this is in the in the future position, you will be looking at them shortly and really releasing yourself, allowing yourself to fly out of out of the past energy so you can create a new now, but it really feels like your focus is on some exalted behavior on some, something you've always wanted to do, uh, could be returning to school, gaining information, um, you know, putting, um, your skills out in the world, um, showing your art, but it's something that has been hidden that you have had all this time. And now you're feeling much more confident by releasing 
um, other people's opinions by releasing some of the legacy things, could be even addictions. Um, but you have moved a lot of that staticky stuff and the lower level stuff out of your way. So now it's the time to create. Now it's to really jump into your passions and jump into your uh, divineness. So the basis of all this is the star, and the star is like a wonderful surprise. It also can mean giving and receiving, um, or giving too much or receiving too much, but it really feels more like you have found the balance and you have this wonderful um, essence inside of you that you're bringing forth to the world. Um, I know right before I started this YouTube channel, I got the star coming up quite a bit. So it was time for me to take my passions, my gifts, and the things that I didn't feel was enough to put it out in the world and test it, see how it did. And lo and behold, it came back as positive and wonderful and I've been able to help myself as well as others and so the star kind of stands for that this is the foundation so the gift that you have dear Scorpio is one that would not only benefit you but benefit others along the way so don't be afraid to put your shingle out don't be afraid to speak your truth with love and kindness and to try something new that has always been brewing in there ready ready to be um, ignite it. So that is what's happening with the star. The emperor here, that is one of the highest exalted cards. Uh, it could mean a challenge is coming up. Take the high road. If it's about moral integrity, um, take the high road. You know what is right and you know what is wrong. So you have that inherent in you, Scorpio. So that may be um, brought to the surface. That may you may need to um, advise others, and just be um, strong and loving in your words. The strength card is here, so it feels like a situation that has been kind of unfair to you. You need to stand up and say, you know, this isn't right. Um, I need to change my part in it, and um, you know, if it requires some kind of effort or change on the other person's part or the dynamics. Uh, don't be afraid to use those words with love and kindness, but it does uh, indicate that you will be taking the high road in a moral situation. Uh, you may be able to give some moral guidance to someone who is younger that needs your help. So that might be um, in your awareness this month of March too. The chariot is here. That can mean um, finding balance uh, choosing the high road morally, um, finding the good between the dark and the light, but it also can stand for foreign travel and style. So many of you may be jumping on a cruise ship or finally making that uh, trip home that you've always wanted to do or something that you've always wanted to do. You're creating that and it's right there. You may be doing that this month because it is in the action position. So um, it looks like, most of all, it looks like a reward for all your hard work, whatever it is, whether it is travel in style or treating yourself to a spa day, you know, uh, whatever it is, it's something in luxury that you're treating yourself to. And it looks like it's been a long time coming that it's time for you to really enjoy some of the fruits of all your hard labor, Scorpio. Um, what is the culmination of all these cards is a nine and a nine is just like almost there. 10 is like completion of it. It's a nine. So it looks like you've been sowing your seeds. You've been planting your ideas. Now you have to have some trust and some faith in the journey and in, in your own gifts and kind of stand back and see what grows what you have nurtured and a lot of things are kind of out of your out of your hands at this point you have done all you can for this situation so um, or situations or creative endeavor so plant those seeds water them and now it's time to sit back a little bit and see how they manifest but you're really right in the middle of manifesting a lot of things whether it's travel whether it's a new home a new relationship a kinder relationship leaving leaving a relationship you are really in the manifestation stages you're no longer in the let me think about it um, you've thought about it 
Long enough, long enough, Scorpio. And now you put a little motion, a little, little air but under your wings type of things. And now you're going to see the rewards of your hard work. And I do see that most of you have done it. If you have not run away from the difficult choices and you uh, walk through your fear to, to make these changes, the rewards are right there. The majority of you will see those rewards and they're starting to come to you left and right and feeling. And you know, it can be as small as putting your hand in the pocket and finding a $20 bill that you forgot or as big as creating your dream vacation, dream home, dream job. But uh, the sky is the limit. So whatever you put your energy into and nurtured, it looks like it's about to come to fruition or manifest. Um, that is if you've done the hard work. Knight of Wands, it looks like you've needed some um, a little bit of help. You've been able to reach out. Um, you know, wands are motion. Um, knights, knight of wands kind of charge in. There's a little bit of protection energy. I'm feeling if there's any contracts you need to, um, to sign for this change to happen, read every sentence read every sentence do not skip over anything um there there may be a final challenge if it is signing a contract so make uh just read over contracts very carefully uh that for the month of march that's what i'm feeling that um it needs a little bit more of your attention um to something either legal or something requiring a signature the hangman on the other side, one of my very favorite cards in, in the whole deck, it means that life is still the same, but your perspective has changed. There is a calmness around the hangman. There is um, a way of prioritizing to, um, to ending things. It is a bit calmer card. It's looking at life as life presents it, not as you want it to be, and really charging ahead and um, kind of encapsulating or empowering yourself with your fearlessness and being very fearless about some changes, walking through those fears and doing the changes anyway. So that is your general reading, Scorpio, for the month of March. I'm going to Throw a couple cards for clarity. And these are the Past Life cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, she's got a number of wonderful divination cards out there. And these kind of call to me. So we'll see what's happening. Okay. Inquisition and Persecution. All right. Well, it's feeling like these are the things you need to let go of. And if someone is presenting those... It's about forgiving them. They know not what they do. And it feels like um, some people's words have been very cutting, maybe judgmental to you. Um, and I'm also feeling a bit of jealousy for your ability to move through things fearlessly, even though they're hard and difficult. You have the ability to look at the hard and difficult and march through it anyway. So if people are talking about you, it's just talk, honey, just talk. That's all. So persevere um, and realize that uh, people only talk about people if they um, are a little jealous of what's happening, you know, in a negative way. As long as you embrace forgiveness for yourself and others, you're clean. You're clean. So keep doing what you're doing, Scorpio. You're doing a great job. You're coming into your brilliantness. Br brilliantness. 